Welcome back. Next up, we have a very strange god game that's making its way over the ocean from Japan. When we just don't know exactly. It's a title that might beg the question, is it okay to turn off my Dreamcast? Hi, I'm Lauren Fielder. You might be wondering what's brewing in the background. It's Seaman, a Sega Dreamcast title that's out in Japan that you've probably heard something about. Japan-based Vivarium brought the game out earlier this year, and a lot of people started paying attention to it. You're raising a fish that has a man's face. What are you doing? You're talking to him. You're using the Dreamcast voice recognition system. You drop him in the aquarium. That's how you start out. And then things just happen. There's no manual. There are no rules. And what you put into it is what you get out of it. What you do is you use the controller to feed the seaman to adjust the temperature of the water. And, well, things just start happening. Eventually, when they start growing, you can like teach them how to speak, and when you talk with them, they start conversing with you. The small fishes started um, hatching, and here they are swimming around in the quarry. Uh, there you go, it started crying again. <laughs> They're just newly hatched, so they're really curious. And eventually you're going to have a lot of crazy little fishmen on your hands. Yes. They really talk like human beings. <laughs> Sega is bringing the game out in the U.S. We're really excited about that. It's coming out the first quarter of the year 2000, so hopefully we'll see a lot of this in the future. Some games make you want to sink into the couch, and others just make you want to get up and dance. Here's the intro to Space Channel 5. I just don't see it getting better than that. So, have you been using the same lame tricks over and over for Quake 3 Arena with no visible result? Well, our friends over at Computer Gaming World gave us a few doctorate level strategies for your Quake 3 success. So, you spent the last couple of months improving at Quake 3 Arena, but feel you're getting into a rut. Does that one pesky player keep edging you out? Sounds like you need to go back to school for your MFA. That's a Master's of Fragadelic Arts. <laughs> Chapter 1, Defense. Even though there are character models of all shapes and sizes, Quake 3 player models are bound by a box that is exactly the same for each. Therefore, choosing a skinny model will not decrease your chances of accruing damage. You can, however, reduce the hit area of your character by 75% by simply crouching. This technique can work in some instances, but reduces you to a painfully slow speed, making you an even easier target. The solution? Jump. Jumping and bounding adds another direction that your opponent has to aim, making you more difficult to hit. Speaking of jump moves, find a place you can continually bounce, then pepper your opponents below. This can be extremely effective with weapons such as the grenade or rocket launcher. If you've mastered the rocket jump, try doing it off a bounce pad and with quad damage. You'll be performing tricks you've never thought possible. Chapter 2, Motion. One key piece of advice is to move, move, move. If there's anyone within sight, do not stop. One place novice players often get fragged is the momentary stick after landing an accelerator jump. 
To alleviate this and deke out your foe, hit and hold the jump key while in the air. This will cause a quick power slide with no sticking. Also, stay away from walls. A rocket blast against the wall next to you can be devastating, but with nothing to stop a near miss, the rocket keeps going. With this in mind, aim for your enemy's feet. A direct hit to the feet inflicts as much harm as a direct hit to the head. The final chapter, Dirty Little Secrets. If you're getting low on health or just need a little breather, find a place on each level where you can get a frontal view and not be surprised. Camp for a while, nab a few frags, grab some health and armor, then re-enter the action refreshed. But don't hang too long, since while you wait for someone to come by, your opponents are racking up frags. One last sneaky piece of advice, deprive the enemy of resources. How? As you approach an unused health, knock off a few of your own with a rocket blast, then eat up the icon. There will be nothing left for the person following you. It's a bit underhanded, but hey, it's do or die, right? So remember, move, jump, power slide, aim for the feet, and deprive. The Quake 3 Arena world is full of challenges, and graduating from this institution will take you far in this world. So study hard, practice often, and don't forget your advanced tactics. Didn't take notes? Well, come to the GameSpot TV website to see our Quick Free Strategy Guide in streaming video. You'll also find tips from the pros, including the Quake Master himself, John Carmack. And don't forget to take our No Fear Downhill Mountain Bike Racing Quiz for your chance to win a copy of the game and a Rincon Mountain Bike. You'll find details about the contest at our website. So until next week, bye-bye. I bit my tongue.